Hello everyone. What is CSMA? Today we are going to talk about it. CSMA stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access. It is a media access control protocol that is used to control the flow of data in a transmission media so that packets don't get lost and data integrity is maintained. CSMA is the technology behind computer networks consistent performance. It helps in sending and receiving data across a network. CSMA works by sensing the state of the medium in order to prevent or recover from a collision. A collision happens when two devices transmit the data at the same time on a shared medium. The data gets scrambled and the receiver doesn't get any information from the sender, thereby causing the information to get lost. The lost information needs to be resent so that the receiver can get it. Therefore, we need to sense the medium before transmitting data packets on a network. To do this, we use two different protocols, CSMA collision detection and CSMA collision avoidance. Let's discuss one by one. CSMA CD collision detection. This protocol was used in slower and less complex early networks such as Ethernet. Earlier networks were half duplex. That means on these networks, devices could only send or receive data in one direction. All right, let's break it down into further details. CSMACD protocol deals with the transmission after a collision has occurred. Devices that use CSMACD would first need to make sure by sensing that transmission medium or cable is clear before sending data. If it's clear, then devices send the data. And if the transmission is already in progress, then the devices that wanted to send data would wait for a random amount of time before trying again. Waiting to send data worked great until the transmission medium was clear. But what if two devices saw that it is safe to start sending data at the same time? Problems could occur. For example, if two devices send data simultaneously, they could cause a collision. When this happens, the two devices that caused the collision would send out a jamming signal that would tell all the other devices to hold off on sending data and wait for a random amount of time before transmitting again. At the same moment, the two offending devices would activate a random timer and then transmit data again once the counter ran down for each of them. The device that would reach the end of its counter first would transmit first. The numbers would be completely random so that the transmission times would occur at different times. Randomizing start times would avoid a repeat of collision that just happened. CSMACA collision avoidance second protocol more advanced technology than the previous one used in full duplex networks. CSMACA is used mostly in wireless networks because wireless networks often have multiple devices that can see an access point but not each other. Alright, let's see how it works. This technology avoids collisions by listening or sensing for a transmission signal before sending data. If a signal is detected, then the device will wait for a short period of time before checking the channel again. When it checks again and it doesn't listen any transmission signal and the line is also clear, then the device sends out a set of test data. If no collisions are occurred, then it sends the full payload of data. After the transmission completes, receiver sends an acknowledgement, telling the sender that it has received all the data. If the sender doesn't receive an acknowledgement from the receiver, it will start transmitting the data all over again. CSMACA also uses another technique to avoid collisions. It's called RTS CTS stands for request to send and clear to send. This is an optional technique which can be used with CSMACA on a wireless network. In this technique, a device will send an RTS signal to a wireless access point requesting a chance to send out its data. Once the wireless access point receives RTS signal, it then responds back with a CTS reply. Wireless access point then stops all other traffic while the device sends its data. These things happen so quickly that we don't even know they are happening. This feature gives wireless users a smooth experience. 
okay so in a nutshell the main difference between csmacd and csmaca is that csmacd used in wired networks whereas csmaca used in wireless networks another major difference is that csmacd deals with the transmission after a collision has occurred while csmaca avoids collisions rather than allowing them to occur and it doesn't deal with the packet recovery after a collision csmacd used in half duplex networks and csmaca used in full duplex networks if you want to know more about half and full duplex you should watch my older video by clicking on the link below in description all right this wraps up today's topic thanks for your time please make sure you hit the subscribe button see you in the next video